Hello science fans, I'm glad you're here because today we're going to unravel a weather mystery that often sounds much scarier than it really is. Let's talk about the polar vortex, a name that might conjure up images of wild storms or icy doom, but in reality it's just a fascinating and essential part of how our planet works. Imagine a gigantic whirlpool of freezing air, spinning high above the North Pole in the stratosphere, about 10 to 30 miles up, far above where even the highest flying jets travel. It's like a hidden engine, quietly humming along above our heads. The polar vortex is always present, circling the pole year-round, but it becomes much stronger and more noticeable in winter, when the sun barely rises and the Arctic is at its coldest and darkest. Why should we care about what's happening so far above us? Because the polar vortex acts like a gatekeeper, and what happens up there can dramatically shape the weather we experience down here on the ground. Think of the vortex as the conductor of a vast weather orchestra. When it's strong and stable, our winter weather tends to be more predictable and calm, but when it weakens or wobbles, it can send waves of cold air spilling south, shaking up our usual weather patterns. Its strength and position decide whether Arctic air stays locked up at the pole or escapes, bringing sudden, frigid blasts to places that aren't used to such cold. That's why sometimes you'll hear about record-breaking chills in cities far from the Arctic, the polar vortex is a powerful connector, linking distant parts of our planet. Changes in its behavior can ripple across continents, reminding us that Earth's weather is a truly global system. So instead of being a villain, the polar vortex is actually a key player in Earth's climate story, one that helps keep our planet's weather in balance, even if it sometimes brings a chill. By understanding how it works, scientists and meteorologists can better predict extreme weather and help us prepare for whatever winter brings. The more we learn about the polar vortex, the better we can adapt and stay safe. So let's dive in and discover the real story behind this misunderstood weather giant. To truly understand the polar vortex, we first need to explore where it lives, Earth's atmosphere. Imagine the atmosphere as a giant, invisible blanket wrapped around our planet, made up of several distinct layers, each with its own unique role. It's a bit like a layered cake, with each tier serving a different purpose in protecting and shaping life on Earth. We live in the troposphere, the bottom layer of the atmosphere. This is where all our weather happens, rain, snow, thunderstorms, and even gentle breezes. It stretches from the ground up to about 10 kilometers, or 6 miles, above us. Every cloud you see, every gust of wind you feel, is born in this busy, ever-changing layer. Just above the troposphere is the stratosphere, a calmer, more stable layer. This is where the ozone layer sits, shielding us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. The polar vortex also calls this layer home, swirling high above the weather we experience on the ground. In the troposphere, temperatures drop the higher you go, which is why mountaintops are so cold. But in the stratosphere, the trend reverses, thanks to the ozone layer absorbing sunlight, it actually gets warmer as you rise. This temperature flip creates a natural barrier between the two layers. The polar vortex spins in this upper layer, far above our heads, circling the poles like a giant atmospheric river. It's a powerful force, shaping weather patterns across the globe, even if we can't see it directly. These layers aren't completely separate, powerful weather in the troposphere, like massive storms or heat waves, can send energy and waves up into the stratosphere. Sometimes these disturbances are strong enough to disrupt the polar vortex itself, causing it to wobble or even split apart. Normally, a boundary called the tropopause keeps the troposphere and stratosphere apart, acting like a lid on a pot. But when big disturbances occur, this boundary can be breached, allowing energy and air to mix between the layers. This two-way street means that weather down here can influence the polar vortex above, and changes in the vortex can send ripples back down, affecting our weather in surprising ways. When the layers mix, it can trigger dramatic winter weather. Think sudden cold snaps, blizzards, or even unseasonably warm spells. The results can be felt across continents. Our atmosphere is a dynamic, interconnected system, always in motion above us, constantly shifting and responding to forces both big and small. The polar vortex is just one part of this fascinating dance, but its influence can be felt far and wide, shaping the seasons and the weather we experience every day. By understanding how these layers work together, scientists and meteorologists can better predict extreme weather events, helping us prepare for what's to come. So next time you look up, remember, 
there's a whole world of activity happening right above our heads, shaping the weather and climate of our planet every single day. When the polar vortex is strong, it acts like a spinning top, fast, stable, and locked over the Arctic. This keeps the coldest air trapped up north, making winters in North America and Europe more typical and less extreme. The jet stream flows smoothly, steering weather systems without letting Arctic air escape too far south. Think of the vortex as a refrigerator with a tight seal cold stays inside, temperatures stay balanced. Most winters, this is the default, stable, predictable, and orderly. The lack of sunlight at the pole strengthens the vortex keeping things in check. But what happens if something disrupts this spinning top? That's when things get interesting. Enter the Sudden Stratospheric Warming Event, or SSWE, a dramatic twist in our story. Sometimes giant waves from the troposphere surge upward, crashing into the stratosphere and releasing a burst of energy. This can heat the polar stratosphere by over 50 degrees in just days, a huge shock to the system. The result? The polar vortex slows, weakens, and can even reverse direction. Imagine grabbing a spinning top and stopping it mid-spin. The vortex loses its shape, and the atmosphere above the pole turns chaotic. SSWEs are rare but powerful, disrupting the entire winter weather pattern. They don't happen every year, but when they do, they're the biggest game-changer in the stratosphere. These events remind us that Earth systems can be wild and unpredictable. When an SSWE hits, the stage is set for major changes below, it's the ultimate wild card for winter weather and it all starts miles above our heads. After a sudden stratospheric warming event, or SSWE, the polar vortex, normally a tight stable swirl of cold air, begins to wobble and stretch out of shape. Sometimes, this wobbling is so intense that the vortex splits into two or more smaller vortices, each spinning off in different directions. Imagine it like leaving your refrigerator door wide open. Suddenly, all that cold, dense Arctic air starts spilling out into places it usually doesn't reach. The cold air, no longer trapped at the pole, escapes and begins to move southward, spreading across continents. This frigid air can plunge deep into North America, bringing sudden extreme cold snaps and winter storms to cities that might not be prepared. Europe and Asia can also be hit with snow and ice blanketing regions far from the Arctic Circle. The jet stream, which usually flows in a relatively straight path, becomes wavy and unpredictable, twisting and turning across the globe. These deep dips in the jet stream act like highways, funneling cold Arctic air much farther south than normal. Meanwhile, under the bulges of the jet stream, some areas experience unseasonably warm weather, with sunshine and mild temperatures in the middle of winter. These dramatic changes don't happen instantly. It usually takes a week or two for the effects to travel down from the stratosphere and reach the surface, gradually shifting our weather patterns. Scientists call this process downward propagation. It's like a signal traveling from the upper atmosphere down to where we live. Think of it as a ripple effect, where a disturbance high above eventually stirs up the weather below. The SSWE is the dramatic splash that starts it all. The cold snaps and wild weather we feel are the ripples spreading out. This delay gives meteorologists a valuable window of time to analyze data and warn the public about potential extreme weather. By closely monitoring the polar vortex, scientists can predict major shifts in weather patterns before they happen. When the vortex wobbles, winter can turn wild and unpredictable, with blizzards, ice storms, and sudden temperature swings. It's a dramatic chain reaction where one event high above sets off a cascade of changes below. All of this is triggered by a sudden warming event far above our heads in the stratosphere. That's why scientists keep such a close eye on the stratosphere. It holds the key to understanding and predicting our most extreme winter weather. Now. Let's talk about November 2025. Something unusual is brewing. Forecast models are signaling a possible SSWE around November 26th, much earlier than usual. SSWEs typically happen in mid-winter, not November, making this a rare event. Multiple models agree. A rapid stratospheric warming is likely, with the vortex's winds set to weaken dramatically. This early disruption could set the tone for the entire winter. The warming starts high up, but its effects will trickle down in the weeks ahead. Forecasting isn't perfect, but the strong model agreement has meteorologists on alert. 
It's a real-time science experiment, testing our understanding and technology. If this SSWE happens, we'll get to watch its impact unfold all winter long. It's an exciting moment for weather science. Why does timing matter? An SSWE in November is a game changer. Early disruption means the polar vortex may stay weak all winter, increasing the odds of repeated Arctic outbreaks. It's like making a bold opening move in chess, the rest of the season is shaped by what happens now. Forecasters use these early signals to build their seasonal outlooks. A November SSWE is rare and gives scientists a unique chance to study how these events work. It helps improve weather models and our understanding of atmospheric dynamics. This isn't just about cold weather, it's a valuable learning opportunity. Each event teaches us more about the complex dance between the stratosphere and troposphere. The outcome? Better predictions for everyone. So, this November event is more than a forecast. It's a scientific milestone, and it could mean a colder, more dramatic winter ahead. What does this mean for you? If the vortex is disrupted in late November, expect changes by early December. Forecasts already hint at Arctic air spilling south into North America and Europe. A wavy jet stream could bring prolonged cold to some regions, while others get unusual warmth. It's a pattern of extremes, sharp contrasts, not uniform cold. The key takeaway winter could be more volatile and intense than usual. It's not a guarantee, but it's a strong signal to prepare. Make sure your coat and furnace are ready. Even in our modern world, we're still shaped by these powerful climate patterns. Watching the stratosphere gives us a heads up for what's coming. Stay tuned, this winter could be one to remember. The polar vortex isn't a monster, it's a vital part of our atmosphere's story. Sudden stratospheric warmings are the wild cards that can flip winter on its head. By understanding these events, we unlock the secrets of our planet's interconnected systems. What happens miles above the pole can shape weather across continents. Science lets us read this story in the sky, using satellites, models, and careful observation. Every forecast, right or wrong, helps us learn and improve. Next time you hear Polar Vortex, you'll know it's not just a headline, it's a window into Earth's amazing climate. Curiosity and questions drive discovery. Science is for everyone, and it's very, very cool. Thanks for exploring with me. Stay curious and keep watching the sky.